Welcome back. Moving on to our business stories now. Dubai private sector companies indicated a sustained recovery in growth momentum in April from the survey record low experienced in February. At 52.7 in April, up slightly from 52.5 in March, the seasonally adjusted Emirates NBD Dubai Economy Tracker Index highlighted the fastest improvement in overall business conditions since November 2015. The headline index has now risen above the crucial 50.0 no-change value for two months in a row, but the latest reading was still weaker than the long-run survey average of 55.1. All three key sub-sectors monitored by the survey recorded an improvement in business conditions during April, led by wholesale and retail. The survey covers the Dubai non-oil private sector economy with additional sector data published for travel and tourism, wholesale and retail and construction, and showed that a robust and accelerated expansion of business activity underpinned the latest upturn in operating conditions across the Dubai private sector. Despite a rebound in business activity, latest data signaled that job creation was relatively subdued across the private sector. The main exception was a solid rebound in employment growth among construction companies to its fastest for five months. The commercial compliance and consumer protection sector in the Department of Economic Development in Dubai has launched a new initiative which would see all commercial establishments across Dubai using Arabic as the main language in invoices and receipts as well as in their call centers and reception desks. The new initiative makes it incumbent on businesses to use Arabic as the main language across menu cards, invoices and price tags in addition to any other language of the business owner's choice. In addition, according to a press release from the department, invoices should have Arabic as the main language before the beginning of 2017, by when CCCP will start monitoring the transition. Mohammed Ali Rashid Luther, the executive director of the Consumer Compliance Protection Department, said that with Dubai being a preferred shopping destination for tourists and residents, it is important to offer varied choices and services to consumers in the Emirate. The department added that according to statistics available and studies the department conducted, a large segment of consumers in Dubai belong to GCC and Arab states. As such, it's important to provide information and services in the Arabic language. As part of the initiative, purchase invoices and business documents issued to buyers should have the product description, quantity and price in Arabic. Price list of services and products displayed in retail outlets as well as price tags should also have the information in Arabic. Businesses such as hotels and car agencies as well as service areas of retail stores and other commercial businesses should also have Arabic speakers in their receptions or in the first point of contact for customers. Capital projects and infrastructure in the Middle East have been greatly impacted by slowdowns and deferrals of government spending as a result of lower oil prices, according to a new report by PwC. PwC Middle East survey suggested that the slowdown is likely to continue for another 12 months based on responses from over 130 owners and developers across the region. It also indicated an increasing number of disputes owing to shrinking budgets and payment delays, with 62% of respondents saying that they had been involved in a dispute recently or expect to be involved in one in the next year. PW says, said that the lower for longer oil prices are creating a squeeze in government funding, fueling new methods of financing and delivery such as PPPs. The finding of the survey also showed that respondents said that introducing new sources of finance could improve the efficiency of the delivery of projects, with 44% and 38% saying they think more projects will run on time to and to budget respectively. The first survey found that more than 60% of respondents think spending will fall this year, while 75% have already been impacted by funding constraints. It also showed that attracting and retaining skilled resources is now one of the top three improvement priorities, up to 33% from 26% in 2014. DMCC, the Government Authority on Trade, Enterprise and Commodities in Dubai, has announced that its member companies surpassed the 12,000 mark last month. 
It said in a statement that the number of companies grew by 18 percent during 2015, while Dubai Gold and Commodities Exchange volumes expanded by 23 percent to 14.5 million contracts traded. The statement added that the DMCC Tea Center re-exported 45 million kilos of tea during the past year. The number of companies registering to trade within the DMCC free zone last year increased to more than 11,500 by the end of last year, with strong growth continuing in 2016, with more than 12,000 signed up by the second quarter. On average, DMCC said it welcomed seven new member companies daily last year, cementing it as the largest and fastest growing free zone in the UAE. The DMCC free zone now stands at 66 completed mixed-use towers, including five hotels, 92 educational establishments and over 500 retail outlets across DMCC's Jumeirah Lakes Towers.